How's everybody doing? My name is Benjamin. Welcome back again to more Pokemon, BGC, stuff, things, shenanigans, everything else in between. We are back with the same team as before. Uh, apologize for the week off. A lot of things going on again. Made it kind of difficult, but we're going to continue with this team. Probably going to use it for the rest of this week, uh, especially since this is the last week, I believe, of the season. It ends like, I think, on Sunday or something like that. Um, but anyways, we're going to use this team for the rest of the time. I did really enjoy using it, and we did go 3-0. and I do think this is the team that can definitely propel us into Master Ball tier, so I figured we'd keep going with this team, see what else we can do with it, and uh, how much it can get us to climb on the ladder. Um, other than that, I do want to... See if you guys are interested in other Pokemon games as well. Like, for example, Pokemon Unite just came out, and I've been having a lot of fun playing that, and I was interested to see if you guys would like, would like seeing that on the channel. I'm not sure if that's what you guys would like, if you just like the VGC content, um, but definitely let me know if that's something you guys want to see on the channel. That's definitely something I can do, because it is very, very fun. Um, I'm enjoying it quite a bit. Um, it, but we already got our first battle against KSG. We'll see what they got. They got Reggie Alecki, Rillaboom, Urshifu, Porygon 2, uh, Galarian Moltres, there we go, and Alolan Marowak. So definitely an interesting team. Can definitely be... He's got a lot of hard hitters, so it can make it de like very, very tricky. Um, Trick Room works really, really well for me here. Um, it also doesn't work well for me here because of... Porygon 2 in Marowak, I can end up benefiting them very, very hard. But if I don't get it up, he just outspeeds me with just about everything. Um, let's go Dusclops and... I'm trying to figure out who I want with that. I guess Thunderous I could have out with him. Um, trying to see here. Conk does pretty well. So does Tyranitar here. But surprisingly, Heatran does really well too. But I think I want to bring Titar and Konk. I don't feel like bringing Venusaur. It just doesn't look like the greatest matchup with anything, especially since Moltres, Marowak uh, can easily take it out. I'm sure Porygon has Ice Beam, which can take it out. So a lot of factors that don't really stack up very well in uh, Venusaur's favor. But we'll try this uh, this set out here, see if we can't get our fourth win with this team. I'm more than certain if we win, we're in Ultra Ball tier. Um, I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure it propels us in Ultra Ball tier. And possibly if we win three in a row, we're in Master Ball tier. Just like that. Um, Let's we'll see what he starts off with. It's going to be Reggie, Alecki, and Urshifu. Which unfortunately isn't very good for us. Uh, being that Urshifu can just one-shot us here. He's got black glasses on too, so it's going to definitely propel how much damage he does. I could just go for a helping hand and boost up uh, Thunderous here. It's definitely something I could do. I think I'm just gonna, I know that I'm gonna lose him here, so I might as well just do that. Go for Dynamax and a Max Airstream into Urshifu to try and be faster than his Regieleki. It's the best thing that I can do right here. I don't wanna keep using Thunderous as the uh, main guy I have for Dynamaxing, but I don't really have much of a choice. But I gotta use Dynamaxing while I can since next season, which is probably, like like I said, like in a week or so. Um, and no more Dynamaxing, which is gonna be super, super interesting. I'm very excited for that meta and what's gonna happen with it. Whoa, he actually goes Electro Ball into Dusclops. Interesting. So we could have gotten the knockout, or we could have gotten the trick room up. Could have gotten the trick room, but that's okay. He went for Electro Ball into Dusclop, so very interesting tactic by him. I'm not sure why he went for that. 
Thankfully, we could see that he didn't have the Focus Sash on Urshifu, so we could just one-shot it. Now he's got Moltres. I can just go a Helping Hand again. I don't really want to go for the Max Lightning, because then that sets up Re Regilecki perfectly, which is super, super bad. Um, and Max Airstream, I don't think will knock him out. I could just go for Max Knuckle, I guess, but I... Actually, I think a Max Airstream still might take out Regilecki. He's really, really frail. I'm going to go for Helping Hand. Or I could go Max Knuckle. You know what? No, we're going to go Max Airstream into Regilecki. I need Regilecki off the field. Uh, once he's off the field, then I can go for these uh, um, Electric-type moves into Moltres. I don't want to trigger Moltres's uh, Weakness Policy and Berserk, so... Oh, and he doesn't Dynamax, though. This might... This should KO. Oh, wow. He actually lived. Okay. So he probably went for Electro Ball into Thunderous and Fiery Wrath. Actually, just goes for uh, Electro Ball again into Dusclops. And Fiery Wrath he did still go for. So, let's see here. I could just go for Conk, but I think I want to send out uh, I want to send out Tyranitar instead. I'm gonna send him out instead, and I'm gonna take a very big risk here. Probably doing what I should not be doing. Well, you know what? I actually just could go for a max knuckle. Let's do that. Let's hit Reggie Lucky with a max knuckle, and then Rock Slide will do a lot of damage into Moltres. He actually takes Moltres out, which is interesting. For Porygon. He gets the attack boost, doesn't get the special attack boost. Uh, Reggie Lucky goes for Protect. This might still KO? Question mark? It does, because thankfully Reggie Lucky is very, very frail. We get the attack boost on both of our guys. And now that we get the double attack boost, we know that Tyranitar is going to live whatever happens. And we get a free Rock Slide off on Porygon. Does a decent amount of damage. It's not as much as we wanted to have happen, but we do know now he's definitely going to Dynamax Moltres. Um, but we can just kind of... I feel like we can freely double into Moltres at this point. And go for a uh, Wild Charge and a Rock Slide, and that should take him out. I'm pretty confident it should. Um, being that we got that attack boost... He is going to Dynamax still, but I, I still feel pretty confident that this is going to uh, take him out. We know that Thunderous is going to be the fastest one on the field, and we know that Porygon's not going to be faster than Tyranitar, so no matter what, I'll get... Oh, he's just going to Max Guard. He's going to try and set up Trick Room, so if I get a flinch that is huge for us rock slide's not going to connect on moltres we get a flinch no flinch so not terrific but he did just burn an entire turn of his dynamax so we got that going for us let's go for another rock slide and yeah, I just hit him with Wild Charge. I know I'm not going to be... Uh, I know I'm going to be slowest on the field now of Thunderous, but I believe Titar will be the second fastest. It's going to go Porygon first, followed by Titar, then Moltres, then Thunderous is the way it should go. He goes for Foul Play into... Oh my goodness, that was a crit. Okay then. 
Rock Slide should take out Porygon. Does over half the health of Moltres, which is beautiful because I'm the faster one on the field now. He doesn't one-shot me here. So thankfully, Porygon went into Thunderous. Yes, he gets a bunch of um, attack boosts and everything, but this isn't going to kill me. Wow, that didn't do anything because he went for Max Darkness for some reason. Probably because he didn't expect to uh, probably, you know, crit and one-shot my Thunderous, which I didn't even expect. Foul play was an interesting move by, uh, by Porygon for sure. But it's looking like we're going to walk out of here with a win. And we'll go for... I mean, at this point, we'll just go for an ice, ice punch. Both my guys are the fastest on the field. doesn't matter if he protects or not. Um, they will take him out with ease because he set up the trick room for us, which did not really benefit him whatsoever. Ice punch is going to seal the deal, and we walk away with a win with our first battle. And I'm pretty sure that put us in Ultra Ball tier. It was a very good battle. I just won 100% didn't expect him to go for Electro Ball into uh, Dustclops. I'm kind of glad, though, that I didn't set up the Trick Room right away, and I did the strat that I did, because uh, I ended up with a win. So, one down and two to go. I did kind of want to check his team, to be honest. He had Magnets, Volt Switch, Electro Web, Protect, and Electro Ball. He didn't bring him... But he had Miracle Seed. So pretty standard. He had Black Glasses with Sucker Punch, Iron Head, Close Combat, and Wicked Blow. Thankfully, we were faster, though. And then he was rocking Recover, Ice Beam, Trick Room, Foul Play. And then standard besides the Sucker Punch. I don't see many people run Sucker Punch. And then he didn't bring uh, the Marowak. But it was, again, pretty standard of the set. Um, but we'll go ahead and continue into our second battle. And that, do oh, and not oh, we're not in uh, Ultra Ball. We are Great Ball Tier 9. Wow, we're 8-3 and three at Great Ball Tier 9. Pretty sure if we still win these next two battles, that puts us in the Ultra Ball Tier at least. Um, but anyways, like I was saying, I'm super excited for next season. They do, they are not going to be allowing Dynamax. It's not going to happen whatsoever. But you can use one restricted Legendary Pokemon. So we're going to be... Uh, it's going to be interesting to see how people will play, what kind of teams they will make, um, especially since they cannot rely on Dynamax anymore. They don't have that safety cushion, so it's going to be really interesting to see how people play. Um, second battle, though, is against Lucas, who has Dragapult, Colossal, Urshifu, Rillaboom, Incineroar, and Moltres, so pretty, pretty standard of a set. Um, he's most likely going to go for, I'm sure that Urshifu is the water type one, to go for wa uh, Aqua Jet into Colossal, or he's going to go Surf with Dragapult into Colossal, so not anything I have not seen. Um, question is, is how I want to go about this, because I don't really think I'm going to be able to get the Trick Room off. If I can get the Trick Room off, I win. 100%. Um, tricky part is seeing if I can even get the Trick Room off. Um, I could go. I can't go with him because if he goes for Incineroar, he's just gonna fake out. I can't do anything. Um, I could go Heatran. Have Tyrant? Uh, do I want Tyrant Turn in the back? I mean, I'm definitely gonna bring Thunder still, and that's like, do I want? Do I want Tyranitar or do I want Kong? I kind of want... Kong does really well against a lot of guys on his team, but I think I'm going to bring uh, Titar just because of the Dark Typing into Dragapult. has the Rock Typing, which is good, into his Fire Types that he has. Um, and he also has an Ice Type move for uh, Rillaboom. So overall, he does pretty well. And he's got the Focus Sash, so he's going to be able to, no matter what, take one hit... Um, and be able to dish it right back. So he goes for Incineroar and Urshifu. Again, not good. Uh, because he's most likely just gonna body my Dusclops here. So let's see. 
We're gonna go for Frisk and see Citrus Berry and a Focus Sash. We are gonna go for Trick Room and I'm going to put, ah, I can't even protect Heatran actually, I just thought of that. Shoot. Uh, so I can't protect Heatran. I think I have to Dynamax and go for Max Guard. Best option I have, because if I go for Protect, he's just going to go for Surging Strikes. It'll break Protect, and it's going to take out Heatran. I need Heatran alive. If I set up Trick Room right here, then I'm kind of in the clear at that point. So we'll see if this works out the way I want it to. Hopefully, Incineroar goes, goes for... Uh, Fake out into Heatran, and then I get hit by a Surging Strike into Heatran. That's what I'm really hoping for. Actually goes for Close Combat, not even Surging Strike. Goes for Close Combat. And he goes for Taunt. Dang it. Ah, oh, that's unfortunate. Um, I guess we gotta take out Urshifu first. So we'll go for that, and we'll go for... Uh, I guess Max Quake. That's the only thing I got. I'm going to get... This is going to hurt real bad. Ooh, could that be Urshifu? I think it is. Gigantamax? Yep, we're going to see Gigantamax Urshifu on the field. You don't actually see very many people utilizing Gigantamax Urshifu whatsoever. Uh, they usually just don't even, uh, don't even Dynamax them. We do live. Not well, though. Not well. That doesn't do hardly anything at all. I should have probably gone for, like, a fire-type move so that I could have, uh... Could have survived, or could have made it do less damage. Flare Blitz will do nothing to me. And a Nightshade, because why not? Brings him to half health. I'm going to get knocked out here. There's nothing I can absolutely do about it. So, yeah, if I would have started Thunderous, this would have been such a better start for me. But I just get tired of doing the same starts every time. And I'm sure you guys do too. You guys want to see something a little bit different, a little bit of a change up. GMAX Rapid Flow again is going to knock out Heatron, unfortunately. At least we took one. Took one hit. But we couldn't even go for max guard because it would have just broke right through. And we're gonna we're gonna see a flare blitz again. We'll go for nightshade. So he's got one more turn. Ah, oh, it's now I gotta figure out how I want to utilize this. Shake off the taunt. I should be faster. Because I believe I'm faster. I'm going to go Helping Hand into Thunderous and go for a uh, Wild Charge and Urshifu. Thunderous can definitely still win this battle for me, and so can... Uh, Teats are on the back. It just ended up not being the way I thought it was going to go. But I should be faster with Thunderous against this Urshifu. And I am, and I do take him out. So hopefully I don't take a huge amount of recoil damage from that. Uh, I mean, it was alright. Uh, he's going to go for Flare Blitz again into Thunderous, though. We do take it. Not well, but we do take it. Now the question remains of... So I can, I'm not going to go for Trick Room. There's no point. Um, it'll just set up his entire team. He's definitely going to protect with Moltres. So I'm going to Helping Hand into him, and I'm going to go for Brick Break into Incineroar. Because he's 100% going to protect. He knows that I have Wild Charge. He's not going to risk it. Uh, he'll protect first move of Moltres. He will not, or he will? 
I think Helping Hand always goes first. He did not. Wow. Oh, and he lived. Wow, he got me. I really thought he was going to protect. So, well played, sir. Very well played. I could still get a double knockout here, though. Oh, we got rid of Helping Hand. Dang it. No, I can't. If he didn't do that, I would have got a double knockout. Doesn't look like we're going to pick up a win on this one. Uh, he played it very, very well. He completely got me uh, mentally. I really thought he was going to protect on Moltres for sure. But he got me good on that one. So I guess we'll hit him with Nightshade. We'll go for Rock Slide. I mean, it's going to be game. I don't think there's any way that I can win unless I get a like miracle crit on Moltres. He's probably even going to get a flinch if I had to take a guess for my luck. Lose a little bit of HP and Rock Slide. Wow. Lived on one, but he's going to go down to the Sandstorm. So, I mean, it's one versus one. One versus one, and I'm sure it's against his Colossal. And if I hadn't have taken any damage on Tyranitar, this would for sure be a win. Let's see. Yep, there's Colossal. Ah, uh, that's super unfortunate. Um, Rock Slide, I know I'm faster. I know I'm faster, and I gotta get a flinch. If I get a flinch, I win. Flinch? I know it's gonna activate Witness Policy. You gotta flinch. If he flinches, we win. He went for Solar Beam? So I'm confused. Um, anybody else confused? That had to have been a misclick, right? We actually pull off a win here. Why did he go for Solar Beam? I am so beyond lost here. Lucas, you had the win. All you had to do was go for a ground type move. Oh boy. Maybe he thought he had like Mental Herb or something like that. I did not deserve that second win whatsoever, and I wish I could see his team to see what was the deal with that Colossal. But I mean, a win's a win. I'll I'll take it, no matter how much I don't think I deserved it whatsoever. Um, but we made, a, I guess, a good comeback, but that was more or less kind of just handed to us at the very end. Uh, Lucas definitely had that win. I'm not really sure what happened at the end there for why he chose Solar Beam. Um, because he didn't, I didn't even get a flinch. Getting a flinch, I guess, would have felt better, even though it's winning by hacks. Um, but I'm not really sure what the idea behind that was. So we're 2-0. Oh, we're one win away from Ultra Ball, which is pretty nice, sitting at 9-3. and three. And I cannot pronounce that name, but it's our last battle. And they got Venusaur, Porygon2, Regieleki, Landorus, Urshifu, and Torkoal. So, he's definitely got a Trick Room based team just like me, but he has Reggie Lucky and Lando. Um, I got Ice Punch on both Conk and Titar, which is going to be super, super helpful. I think I want to go with that. What else do I want to go for after that, though? I could go for that with Venusaur in the off chance that he has Torkoal Venusaur start. Just in the, like, random off chance. And then Titar. I definitely think I have to bring, and I kind of want to bring Conk. Conk does really well here. If I'm able to get this Trick Room off, he does very, very well here. Um, so let's hope and pray that we're able to get uh, Trick Room off. We're able to go 6-0 and o with this team. Uh, be sitting in Ultra Ball and be able to be that much closer to Master Ball. 
because we should be able to hit Master Ball by the end of the season. I know I'm always cutting it very, very close at the end of the season to getting into Master Ball tier, but that's okay. We'll get there one way or another. So let's see what he starts off with. If he goes with Torkoal Venusaur, that actually works out pretty well since we started off with Venusaur. He goes for Venusaur Porygon. Okay. We get the shiny Venu, and he's got the normal Venu. Special attack goes up, which is pretty bad. He's got Koba Berry and Eviolite, so he's got the same item as ours. Oh, I could go Trick Room. I mean, I quite honestly, I could just go Sludge Bomb into his. I The thing is, is I don't know if his has... Um, I don't know if his Venusaur has Sleep Powder or not. I sort of kind of want to go for Dynamaxing and go for a G-Max Vine Slash into Porygon. Honestly, I think that's what I'm going to do. It's benefited me this much of going for Dynamaxing on the first turn, so I think I'm going to do it. I don't think he's expecting it whatsoever. I do, however, have a feeling that his has Sleep Powder. Most Venusaurs run Sleep Powder, but if he misses, that's huge. As long as, you know, I don't go for Trick Room and he goes for Trick Room at the same time. Ooh, he actually also Dynamaxes. So no Sleep Powder. So we're seeing double Dynamax Venusaurs. One shiny, one not. We'll see what each one does, though. This is a very interesting way to start the battle. My Venusaur's faster. Doesn't do any damage to Porygon, my goodness. And his goes for Max Quake. Into my Dusclops, so neither one of our guys on the side took any damage. None. And he goes actually for Ice Beam. Okay, perfect. And we get the Trick Room off. And we are sitting fairly good right now. Only unfortunate thing is that his Venusaur is now faster. Which is kind of bad. Um, let's see. We can go for Haze. Or I can just go Helping Hand. Kind of just want to go Helping Hand with a uh, G Max Vine Slash again. Yeah, let's just do that. Get a little bit more damage put off on Porygon. Hopefully, he doesn't recover, which is what I had a feeling he was going to do. And he gets full health. Love it. That did a lot of damage. If he didn't... Oh, now he's going to go and hit my uh, my Dusclops with it. Wait, no, he hit my Venusaur? Interesting. Okay, so... No, I uh, I totally had that backwards. Um, so you went for GMAX Vine Slash. I cannot get a switch out at all. At this given point, I might as well just go for a Helping Hand again. And go for GMAX Vine Slash one more time. Let Dusclops go down. I'll have a couple turns of Trick Room to be able to do something. <sighs> See what we're able to do here. Helping Hand again. He's just going to recover again, which is what I figured he was going to do, because Porygon's just going to be extremely annoying. And that... Oh, he's going to try. He's not going to try. We're just going to go big time wasting our Dynamaxes here and the Trick Room. 
Not good. Man, even with Helping Hand, that just does nothing against him. So I got down to seven. Porygon's gonna be sitting at half health. I could also just hit Venusaur with a Sludge Bomb, to be totally honest, and see how much damage it does. Let's just go for that. Why not? Let's go Helping Hand and Sludge Bomb into Venusaur. We'll see how much damage it does. Hopefully, Porygon just goes for a Recover again for some reason. We totally wasted the Trick Room, unfortunately. But we still might be okay. I'm not 100% sure. Because it's not like he's switching out either. But he's definitely getting the benefit of this battle right now. I think he might even be able to knock out my Venusaur here. Yeah, Ice Beam. Yep, he's going to get a double knockout. Double knockout, which means I have one turn. One, t I believe I have one turn of Trick Room with Conk and Titar. To do as much as they possibly can. Which might just be enough, but I don't know for certain. Um, See, I can go in a Mock Punch into Porygon, and I think it takes him out. And then I gotta hit Venusaur with Ice Punch. It's my best means of attack right now, because Koba Berry... Um, pretty sure that's for Fire? Yeah, Fire. Okay, so we're gonna go Ice Punch into Venu and Mock Punch into Porygon. And I really hope it takes him out. Fortunately, I'm gonna get hit by the Vines, and so I'm gonna lose my Focus Sash after this turn two, which is really bad. This is quite literally the best means of attack that I have going for me right now. I don't really have much else, and it just depends on what he has for his last guys. Mock Punch does take out Porygon. If I get a freeze, it'd be insane. Oh, he's faster. Sludge Bomb and a Conk. That did a lot more than I wanted it to do. Freeze? Some Miracle? No? Ah. Uh, and yeah, he's gonna get a little bit of damage taken. I think we still live. We don't. My goodness, it did 33 damage to Kong. That's unfortunate. So, definitely not going to win the last battle. So, we'll be sitting at 5-1. and one, Which, I mean, in all honesty, we probably should be sitting at 4-2. and two Because we did not deserve to win that second battle. But we'll take what we can get. He had Torkoal, actually. So, he did have Torkoal in the back. He was just hanging on to that with all that he had to not uh, not lose him. And unfortunately, because I got hit by that, I'm not going to survive Frenzy Plant, which is what... So he had the exact same set that I was running um, with Frenzy Plant, Earth Power, Sludge Bomb, and Protect. So very good battle. Hard team to beat. Um, if I had to start a Thunderous again, I definitely would have won the battle. Um, he would have taken out uh, Venusaur immediately. Uh, definitely want to change the battle around, but I like to go for a little something different every battle. So anyways, that will be it for those battles there. Once again, I'll show you guys uh, the rental team. We're still sitting in Great Ball tier uh, like nine, whatever you want to call it. Um, but we're like a couple wins away from getting into Ultra Ball and therefore Master Ball. So we'll definitely get it in the next video. But here's the team once again for you guys to try out. I'll have the rental code and the description of the team um, in the description of the video. So definitely check this team out. It's very, very good, very strong. I think it's really good for this current meta that we have for the next week or so um, until things get completely swapped around and then things get really, really interesting for the next season. Um, again, if you guys want to see uh, something a little bit different on the channel, whether that is Pokemon card opening or 
uh, playing Pokemon Unite that I'm having a lot of fun with, please let me know if that's something you want to see on the channel, and I will definitely make that happen, even if it is maybe once a week that we do Pokemon Unite, if you guys like that. Um, I might do one, we'll see how it goes. Um, but yeah, other than that, that'll be it for this video, you guys, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye!